you welcome to my channel my name is Tomsi Aini and in this video I'm taking you guys how to make a magazine dress so basically this um, dress is a multi-purpose dress you could wear it to any corporate event you could wear it to church you could wear it to any meetings or gatherings um, if you're working on this project I'll advise you to get about one and a half yard or two yards depending on the length of your fabric and guess what I didn't cut out my pattern I did my pattern on my fabric yeah, I did that. So, <laughs> so if you are working on this fabric and you on this project and you want to do it but you don't have a pattern piece, you could just draft your pattern on the um, fabric because it's kind of very straightforward. So we're dropping the description below on how I made this stuff. I actually recycled this stuff from like old dress of mine. So I'm gonna drop the link below on how I upcycled this. So enough of this talking let's get into the video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel support my channel let's go here's the fabric i'm using it's a flower pattern um it's over a yard it's just 38 inches however it's very long the length is very long it's over 60 it's about 18 inches long if you are working on this project, I would advise you to use about one and a half yard or two just to be on the safer side because I had to manage this at the end of the day. So I'm going to fold this into four and cut out about 10 inches, which I'm going to be using for pleats. Yeah, I want to use um, the pleat for the down part of my dress. It's not going to be a long, it's going to be a short gown. So the pleat is going to be just a few inches after the hip. So I'm going to put this aside and measure what I have here. So measuring what I have here, I realize it's just perfect for what I want. So it's just about 28 inches. So 28 plus 10, that's about 38. So the length of my dress is okay. So I folded this into 15 inches. My hip circumference, which is my biggest circumference, is 15. It's 10. And I just added 5 inches to make it 15. So... It's going to be a maxi dress, so I added enough allowance, both for sewing and easy. So I drafted my pattern on this fabric, and you can see I added one inch there, then half an inch, then I slanted it down to the end. Yeah, so just the bust circumference that is needed basically, and you slant it and curve the down part. So I cut this out using the armhole for the back. I had to separate this and cut out the arm hole for the front so basically you know the arm hole for the front has to go deeper so I trimmed it out so it's very important to um, be mindful of the measurement of your bust in this project to make it too wide because that's where the fitting is going to be and I just I'm just going to cut out my neck hole right here for the back it's going to be an eye brown neck and for the front i'm going to be using a v-neck so this is going to be 1.5 inches so that's four inches by 1.5 and i'm cutting it out and i'm going to be using the same four inches by 6.5 for the front it's going to be a v-neck at the front yeah so the back is ready i'm done with the back now and this is the front So just be mindful of cutting your neck or oh, it has to be the same um, width. So 6.5 and I'm going to slant it now. So I'm going to be taking you through how to face your outfit because facing is actually very important in dresses like this. Instead of using bias to turn the neck, it makes it look rough. doesn't make it look high end like much more good enough. So especially if you are using a light fabric. It's better you just use facing. So facing, you're gonna get pieces of um, leftover fabric, pieces on the floor that is wide enough. Then you place your pattern on the fabric and trace it out exactly as I'm doing right now. It's more advisable to trace it out than doing another measurement because you could end up not having the same cut. Especially if you are using like a U shape or um, design. And the neck also it's better you just trace it out like this and measure out the length of the facing 
so I'm gonna be using 2.5 inches for my facing and I'll just draft um just cut it out yeah so I went ahead to you know measure it round it and I'll just cut it out right now and I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the back so basically using the facing is very very important in outfits it makes your work look neat and it makes it more appreciated so you have to trace it out just like I'm doing right now and you add your measurement so be sure the fabric is laying right so this is it this is why I cut out so this is gonna be inside the fabric it's gonna be like this just lay inside like this innocently and nice so can imagine how neat the neck is gonna look instead of having this swing all around it and I'm gonna do the same thing for the front and this is what we have oh I'm loving this so I went ahead to fold the tip of the facing before I join it to the fabric so I've just pinned this down front side facing the front side then so it's round so I pinned it this way just like I want to line the fabric and just notch it before top stitching is very very important notching is very very important it makes your facing laid down flat so you don't have to start hustling it to you know lay down you can see how innocently lay I've not even stitched it and it's looking so fast yep so that's just it cut out any excess at the shoulder so it won't affect your joining so I'm going to be joining the front and the back right now but one thing to take note is that the way you join the shoulder is very important you pin it down straight like this pin both the facing and the fabric but you pin it separately because you are going to be flipping the facing inside like this exactly like this and you pin it down we are going to have a straight stitch so it's important to fold it like this so your facing don't have to be flipping all around the places so this is how it looks you can see it looks balanced yeah you can even leave the facing like this if you like or I'm still gonna work on that so I joined the side and I had to join the um, the pleats also I joined the pleat I joined the I folded it down part on the side but when I when I, one thing I noticed was that the pleat was not wide enough like so I had to reduce my um, dress so that the pleat can be obvious yeah you did it about two inches so this is what I have now and I joined it so this is how it looks the next thing to do right now is to pleat it round I overlocked the side and the shoulder it's very important to overlock your finishing very very important before I then went there to pleat it round so this is what we have after that yeah so you can see this is the dress this is how it's gonna look like and the next thing to do now is to just um m the neck o so I started with double trade and it was looking obvious at the outer layer and I wanted to be an invisible trade then stitch so I went ahead to use the single trade and oops it worked it worked perfectly fine as you can see it's very very invisible you don't see the stitch but it's holding down so these are to do an invisible stitch you all you pick a very very little very 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 little then tuck it into your facing tightening your stitch at every rep all because I'm using a single thread I have to tie it at every rep so if one cut out everything will just pull out shake it so it's just like this you're going and out at the end of the day it looks like a zigzag kind of thing so just have to go slow and steady and be sure to tighten your stitch it's very important yeah so if you take something too big like something like this it's gonna be straight at the other side 
even if you're using a single thread so you don't want that to happen you take it very little as tiny as possible take it yeah make it very tiny like this and you just tighten your so you just do that all around and your facing is lean innocently neat inside and your clothes you even like the way the neck look relaxed on you you can see it's not obvious very very nice and cool so this is what i have now you can see everything you can only see the beginning of my stitch where i use double thread but every other place it's not obvious so i'll go ahead to cut the sleeve so about the sleeve um i want it to be an overlap sleeve kind of thing but i started with four inches and i realized that i don't have enough fabric so i reduced it to three so i'm marking this out because that's where my sleeve is uh, midpoint is going to be so i'll just fold this and pin it down yeah and again <laughs> I didn't cut out a pattern piece. I did my pattern, my sleeve pattern on my fabric. Yeah, you could call me lazy, but I just felt like I, I totally had a pattern for my sleeve, my short sleeve, but I couldn't find it, so I just had to do it on it. So it's gonna be like this. You can see the midpoint at the top right there. So you're gonna just place it like this and sketch out how you want the overlap to look like. So mine's gonna look somehow like this. So I just measured the midpoint and how deep it should be at the midpoint. So taking notes that I'm still gonna I'm still gonna you know sew it down. So this is it. This is what it's gonna look like and I'm just gonna trim this out and overlap it. Yeah, I kinda have this new glove for the sleeve. Yeah. I prefer using this sleeve instead of random short sleeve. It's Kind of really cute so this is gonna look like hmm I'm loving this already <laughs> so I just I just when I had to overlock it before I press it because it's not straight and I don't want to have kind of rough edges there so this is where I overlocked it and so I joined the sleeve but I noticed one thing the overlap is facing a um, different side so I just losing one and I'm just going to make it face the same way because I want the overlap to face the front, the front part of the dress. So here as well, I'm just required to join it to the sleeve and basically I'm done, I'm done. Guys, here, so here is what we have and I went ahead to sew a belt loop yeah, on either side and I sewed a belt also for this. Yeah. Now to the final review, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, thank you for watching.